So this time we will create a new class. And, oh, no, hold on a second. Rather, let me save this one so that I don't have to write all this extra code. So we will call our new class rotate, rotate demo.java. Let me get rid of this polygon stuff. And let's create a rectangle. You can also create a rectangle um, through the constructor. You don't have to uh, create it afterwards. Uh, and in order for you to do that, all you need to do is just write the um, starting point and the size right there and then it creates a rectangle of that size. And that's what we are assigning to the V box, to the rectangle. Okay. So let me give this rectangle some color. Uh, let's say lime green is fine. Okay, so right now, this is what the rectangle looks like. It is a lime green rectangle with a border, which is basically the stroke width of five. And uh, the color of the border is hot pink. So once we have our rectangle done, let's start doing the rotation uh, logic. So let's instantiate, rotate, transition object. The rotation X's are set. We want the rotation to be 360 degrees. So it'll be a complete circle rotation, circular rotation. We need to set the cycle of rotation count. So I'm just setting it to 500. And I will set the duration of the rotation and this duration is in millisecond so 1000 millisecond which is one second to complete the rotation we want this rotation to be assigned to the rectangle And we want the rotation to play. Okay. Aha. So I assigned, after I did this rotation stuff, I set the padding to, and then I increase the scene size so that the rotation happens a little bit away from the corner. And if you want a rectangle to start rotating in the other direction once it completes one cycle, then you can call the set auto re reverse and then set it to true. So what set auto reverse do is, it completes one cycle, then it starts going back. One cycle starts going back. 